Hey everyone, it's Kai here. In this video, we're going to be talking about passive income streams. Uh, so this year, I decided that I'm going to set up multiple passive income streams. So at the moment, I've put together this Excel spreadsheet and it's got a list of my passive income streams and other income avenues that I'm planning on building. I'm going to show you how I, my thinking process in which I'm sending these things up and perhaps you can do the same too as well and hopefully it can motivate you to do the same thing too. So let's go have a look. Okay, so this is my Excel spreadsheet um, that I have to track my passive income goals. So I've got the name, 2021 goals, specific goals and actual. So um, what this means is that this is the income stream that I'm planning on creating, right? Uh, this is the income stream that I'm planning on creating this year. Uh, this is the goal that I want to achieve from this income stream per month. I might get there, might not, but this is the target that I'm trying to aim for. This is the goal that I'm trying to accomplish um, in the short term at the moment. So at the moment, I've set up these um, these four at the moment. So I've got YouTube, uh, UB Relentless Ad. So I've, I've actually got a blog site that's, um, I've got over about a thousand articles up there and then I've got Google AdSense and I'm making about, there's only about 20 bucks a month. It's not much, but it's free money, right? So I'm not gonna say no to that. And uh, yeah, so that's that's alive and well. It's, it's been kicking for the past few years. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna keep on adding more articles. Uh, the next up is YouTube ads. So this is just kicked in uh, last month. So I was able to finally monetize my YouTube ads, my YouTube channel. And I'm, I'm, so far I've got about, actually I'm gonna update that. So, so far on my account, I've got about 40 bucks in there. Um, so I'm really happy about that. And I'm trying to figure out how can I make another 100 from, from YouTube ads. Um, so obviously probably post more videos, that's the only thing I can think of, but that's what I'm gonna do. Um, next up is dividend stocks. So I haven't done this yet, but I know that with particular stocks that if you invest in particular stocks, they, they give you a pretty good dividend. So I don't know if you put in like 10,000 or 5,000, it will give you a particular dividend. So it might give you about 20 bucks a month or 50 bucks a month, whatever it is. Um, so my goal is to somehow make up to $100 per month. So I'm gonna set this up. Dividend ETFs. ETFs is exchange traded funds. So um, think of the S and P 500. It's pretty much just a um, it's a fund that is comprised of multiple stocks and shares, and uh, and and this fund will track the movements of all those shares. So let's say that you've got a fund that comprises of all 100 tech stocks in America then there's going to be a um, there's going to be an ETF that's tracking that. Anyway, um, it's proven to be you know pretty stable. Um, don't quote me on this, but it's proven to be pretty stable. And uh, if you invest in it, you can make some pretty good dividends per month. So I'm going to try and get 100 bucks a month from dividend ETFs. I'll find out how much I need to invest, and we're going to go. So I got to set that up. Next up is dividend REITs. So REITs is another way for um, it's just another way to track real estate. So there's actually in uh, shares and in, 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 and um, and also investment funds that tracks the movement of of real estate in a particular country. So, for example, there's in America there's REITs. Uh, I won't get too much into it, but it's just like ETFs, uh, but it's just tracking real estate. So I think that's pretty stable. So I want to set that up and also make hundred bucks per month from there. Affiliate marketing. So um, affiliate marketing is obviously when you're promoting a particular product. And if someone goes and purchases that product using the link that you provide them, you get a certain commission. So let's say I'm promoting a camera and the camera is $1,000 and my commission is 10%, then I make 100 bucks. So I can do this by through my YouTube channel. So if I'm promoting a product, I can put a link to a particular product. And if they sell, if someone is interested, they click on my link and then I earn income from that. That's affiliate marketing right there. So I haven't got any affiliate links at the moment. Um, so obviously I got a lot of work to do, but every video that I promote, um, every video that I make, and if I'm promoting a, a particular product, why not put an affiliate link there, you know, and therefore it's passive income. So I'll try to figure out how to make a hundred bucks per month there. Uh, next up is real estate. So this has been always been my holy grail in, in, in passive investing. So um, what I want to do is I really want to create a real estate portfolio. Uh, but at the moment, it's it, Sydney prices is very expensive. So it's super expensive. And, um, you know, just to get a, a townhouse, three bedroom townhouse, you're looking at through a million plus, you know, and uh, it's and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a real estate property and build a granite flat and then get some passive income from that real estate. So it's going to take a bit of time, but you know, I'll need to somehow set this up. Cryptocurrency. So this is awesome. I just set this up um, last week. So I bought some Bitcoin uh, last week using Coinbase. Uh, and 
Uh, what's happened is, I, I was just playing around, I only put in about 300 bucks and I've already made $30, so I'm pretty happy with that one there. So I'm actually making money through my Bitcoin. Um, so at the moment, um, yeah, let, let's try and make 100 bucks from that cryptocurrency. I'll try and invest in more crypto and we'll go from there. And then the next one is ETFs. So ETFs is similar to those um, ETFs I was describing before, but this is more, there's no dividends in there, but it's more growth. So, and a really good example is the S&P 500. At the moment, I've invested in S&P 500 and um, I'm currently, I've got a, a fair amount invested in there and I've actually made a few thousand from ETFs. So I've already got it there, but uh, I'm gonna try and increase my investments into the ETFs as well. So these are my income streams that I've got at the moment um, that's, and that I'm trying to set up by the end of the year. Right now it's the 1st of August, that means I've got 20 weeks left to get this done uh, and get this all set up and up and running. It'll be good, you know, I, I don't care if it's only 10 bucks a month. The most important thing is that you get a drip. Um, I learned this from Grant Cardone, you wanna get a drip of income. And if you can accomplish that drip of income, then why not increase that drip, make it big, bigger, bigger, bigger. You know, so at the end of the year, you've got all these little drips, but then next year is like, okay, how can I make more? How can I make more? How can I make more? So that's what I've done is um, I'm trying to set all these up and then just increase the drips later on. And then eventually, if you let's say you've, that you accomplish all these things, why not I create another 10 income streams and then I create all these little drips. What if you did a hundred little income streams and all these little drips, right? So you get, you get the idea. So I think this is what you, you know, um, that everyone should be doing is the you know create income streams and don't don't get hung up on oh I got to make a thousand bucks a month with one thing it's so hard to do that you know if you can do it more power to you but if you can but the easiest thing is just go for what what's already there get that little drip and then just try and inc improve upon it so so that is my passive income goals for 2021 I've got some other bits and pieces um, that I'm tracking like my calories my other goals my life plan and all these other things but this is just my passive income goals for this year. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do at the moment. And I'm really happy by uh, my progress. So that's been set up this year. I've set that one up this year. I've reactivated that one there. And I'm gonna be working on this one um, this year as well. Hopefully I can get this one done. But um, but yeah, let me know how you guys go in comments. If you've got any ideas in increasing passive income, please let me know in the comments. And please subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful. And I'll be sending you some more great information shortly. Thanks.